Welcome everybody. In this video I'd like to look at installing 4.5G. So come to the Wilcom page, wilcom.com, and you will see some banners across the top of the page. And most of them have got a little update tag beside them. If you don't see that, just click on the black arrow. See this one hasn't, and none there. Click on them until it appears. Alternatively, go to the help page. and downloads 4.5 now all it doesn't matter which link you use it all takes you to the same place so click again here's another link at the top here they'll all bring you to this page with some information on them uh, for example it's now available in english french german spanish and portuguese which you can select when you're installing the software there uh, is more information on these pages there are in release notes which I encourage you to download and read you can in fact read some of them while the software is being installed so we'll go to the download button and it immediately takes us to the little dialog and we can save the file now I've done this plenty of times before but if you're using Firefox you can see it's it in, on my system it's take, going to take 13 minutes sometimes it'll say two hours but it depends on the speed of your internet connection i'm going to stop that because i've done this several times before so i'll in fact pause the video and i'll come back uh, to the download section and we'll carry on from there okay welcome back through the magic of windows i've got two file uh, explorers open here and this is my downloads folder and you can see here's the full version of 4.5G which I downloaded. What I did was open another uh, file browser and I, I just right clicked and created a new folder and I called it ES4.5G install. Now this folder can be deleted afterwards. I could have unzipped this file in the downloads folder but it's kind of messy. You can see I've got a lot of junk in there. So what I did is just copied it across I just dragged it across into this folder okay I then right clicked on it and I haven't I have seven zip in store but it will unzip with other zipping programs and I've got an extract files here and that's resulted in this folder and the list of installation files and it's simply a matter of double clicking or right clicking and running as administrator Okay, the little install dialog will come up and you'll run through that. This is going to give me a warning to say that it's already installed, I'm guessing. But my advice here is just take your time. It'll, it'll run through the process. Make sure that your 4.5 or, or version 4 dongle plugged in. So this is not going any further because I have the software open. So as we're here, let's have a look at the software and see if there are any differences for you. Anybody that's got version 4 of the software will be familiar with the tutorials on the um, home page and links back to the blog. In fact, the article that I'm going to produce with this video will be on the blog and possibly the tutorial will be in this list here. The My Wilcom page contains your dongle number, the build number and a list of elements that are available with learn more links to help you understand what they do. There are other videos on the design library. So if I come back to our tutorials and, and type in, for example, library, there's, a, there's an article here which will describe to you how to use the library. Okay, so back to the workspace. And for those that are installing 4.5, you have a new free tool called the hand stitch effect. So I've just done a, a running stitch line there and hand stitch is in the stitch effects toolbar you can see that it, it got a crinkly look to it as soon as I selected it and of course you can change the properties like any other object in the Wilcom system so I think those that are used to doing handiwork and artistic type embroideries will absolutely love this tool it's fantastic thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful